Alright, first and foremost, I want to give honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakah, Kodash, Yahweh being the only name of the Heavenly Father, His true name, Yahweh Shah being the name of His only begotten Son, uh, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, and the Rakah Kodash is the Holy Spirit in the um, Hebrew. All right, I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who ruled in Tishuel, being great example to Israel. I also want to say peace and love to the hopeful elect that scattered across the four corners of the earth. All right, <clears throat> I really don't have a title for this lesson, but ultimately um, we got to bear this yoke, you know. I know times get hard, we have our ups and our downs, but we can't let it get to us in its truth, you know, because we're fighting for salvation, immortality, all of us, you know, even though all of our walks may be different, but we all fighting for that same penny, that same crown of life, you know, so we must bear this yoke, and I want to get straight to these scriptures. <clears throat> this is Lamentations 3 and 24. The Lord Yahweh is my portion, said my soul. Therefore, what I hope in him. And that's right. That's what we got to do in these last days. We got to put our, our trust and our hope. He have by you have by Shem you have a shot. So like you, you know. Verse twenty five. The Lord Yahweh is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. You know, and that's what we got to do. We got to seek. The Lord, you know, every day. You know, the scriptures say that, man. We got to seek the Lord ten times more, you know. So if we seeking him three times, hey, we need to be seeking him 30 times, you know. <clears throat> Verse 26. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of your Yahweh by Shem And that's right. That's what we're doing. Man, we wait. Though with Terry, we're going to wait for it because it's surely going to come to pass. That's why we hope for it, you know. That's why we're in this truth pushing week in and week out, you know, in the season, out of season. That's why we're bearing that yoke, you know. And I got a scripture, you know what I'm saying, another precept. It's going to bag me up, but I want to finish up because in verse 27, this is what I'm getting to. Verse 27, it is good for a man that he bear the yoke in his youth. And that's right, man. Right now, while we living, you know what I'm saying? In our youth, while we in our right mind, you know? Hey, we got to bear that yoke. Because as we get older, and as older people, as they say, you know, you can't teach dog new tricks. You know? So you got to understand it. And with, with us understanding that, you understand, you know? You understand it. We understand it, you know. So we got to bear that yoke. We got to bear that yoke. I'm good. We got to bear that yoke. Yeah, damn day. Demon over here. Shit. You got leprosy, you know. And that's that's a scary thing for the most high too. But so I get back to the point, you know. We got to bear this yoke. Because it's, what it say again? Verse 27, 327 in the book of Lamentation. It is good for a man that he bear the yoke. In his youth, you know, while we still here, you know, while we still can move, you know, you know, while we still get bear that, you know, the heat and the rain and the snow, you know. Uh, and I got another precept in Matthew 11 and 28. Because, you know what I'm saying, that's what we got to do, man. We got to bear this yoke. These curses, the most high, the most high put on us, our Heavenly Father. Hey, we got to bear that, you know. Hey, because, you know. Because we labor not in vain. It's 2 Corinthians. Say. Let me get this in uh, Matthew 11 chapter. I believe. Bear with me. Cause that's what we got to do, brothers. You know? We got to bear the yoke. Yes, this is um, Matthew 11 and 28. Come 
unto me, all ye that labor. You see, because we labor not in vain. You know, even though this yoke is, you know what I'm saying, it may be hard, but it's really a light. It's, it's really a light, you know, because the scripture is going to explain it. I'm reading back at 28 again. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Verse 29. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. That's right. Hey, learn of y'all by Shem Hawa Shai. You know? You know? That's that's the um that's a step close in the apocalypse. They say that, you know, the fear of the Lord is um Rough and prayer phrase is, uh, is how you get to immortality, you know, even though I'm butchering it, but roughly paraphrasing, you know. Uh, reading again, take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart. That's right, you know, because that was Yahweh Shai, he was meek and lowly in the heart, you know. Because hey, he knew in, in his flesh and on his side, hey, man, it's gonna be heavy. It was heavy, and it was it was gonna be hard for hard to deal with. That's why he prayed. You know. You know for the week. You know, ultimately one hundred and forty-four thousand, but they won't be deceived. You know. You know because it's impossible to deceive him, because you have a shout. Salaki, so how about Shimmy how I won't let them. That's why the scriptures say if it were possible, it's impossible to deceive the elect. You know? And ye shall find rest unto your souls. That's right. And their rest is being in, in you know, in that in that strong tower, you know, being in that hedge with your how about Shimmy how was You know, in them chariots, you know. Not having no pestilence coming on to you, you know? Those aches and pains on this side. You know, going through Jacob's trouble won't be no more Jacob's trouble. You know? It's going to be Jacob's vacation. You hear me? <laughs> Jake's out, Jacob's salvation. Understand? The kid's bad. <laughs> Uh, verse 30, this is what I'm getting to because, you know, the yoke is, is really easy. You know, it's not that hard. It seems hard. But, you know, when you think of, when you think about the, th the hard things you did and you accomplished it and you accomplished it and you sit back and you think about it, you're like, hey, man, really it was easy. You know, and you think about how you could you could apply yourself a little better, you know, what you could have critiqued a little better more, you know, and that's why I say, you know what I'm saying? Uh... That we should uh, watch ourselves daily, you know. Uh, uh, verse thirty, back in Matthew uh, eleven and thirty, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. That's right. Hey, the yoke is easy. This 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 yoke that we have upon us, you know, this yoke this yoke of iron that we are bearing spiritually, you know. That this fire we're being baptized with, these trials and tribulations, you know, that refine us like silver and gold is refined, you know, in the book of Zechariah say. How the third, how the third gonna be refined, you know? So that's why it's really easy. That's why it's really light. You know? Cause like gold, hey man, it get hot when you purify gold. But guess what? When it comes out, it's precious. You know, it's shiny. That's how it is. Hey, we rough and ed we rough and uh edge it, you know, without this truth, but when we get that when we get that light, you know, being baptized with that fire, we get purified, you know. We get anointed, you know. We become holy. You know, the holy people. Above all people upon the face of the earth. So, so, hey, that's why, hey, that's why we gotta understand the yoke is is the yoke that we bearing right now is easy, you know, and it's light. But when it don't feel that way, that's why we gotta pray to the Most High, you know, to give us strength, 
you know, strengthen us through these hard times. To give us strength so we can bear the yoke spiritually. Because times get hard, brother. Hey, we understand that we're in this flesh. It's weak. It's weak. We understand that, hey, our flesh is weak, brother. We understand that, but we're going to pray and, 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 and keep watch. You know? We're going to keep watch. Because, hey, let me get the second Peter's real quick. Second Peter's. Uh, like get this uh, real quick. Try to finish up this video real quick. Uh, uh, this is Second Peter's three and nine. <clears throat> Second Peter's three and nine. The Lord is not slack concerning His promises, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Is right, hey. Uh, mainly, you know, ultimately. You know, two thirds gonna come back. You know, they gonna be uh, reborn again. You know, in righteousness. You know, that we shall all perish, but we shall all come to repentance. You know, we will change, become righteous. You know, after bearing a yoke, because it's light. You know, it's not hard. It's easy. And what it say? And and what will happen? You know, if we don't bear that yoke, you know, what was gonna happen? Verse 10, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and the earth also, and the works that are in, shall be burnt up. You know? So, hey, that's why we got to bear that yoke. You know, we got to keep watch, you know, and make sure, hey, hey, we just got to make sure we keep watch, brothers, you know. Keep watch, you know, and keep praying for strength. Because what they say in verse 11, Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person are you be in all, in all holy conversation and in, in godliness, you know, looking for and hasting to the coming of the day of Yahweh B'Shem Yahweh where the heavens being on fire, shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat and that's what going into that hope you know that hope that we have you know as we bear this yoke you know because hey our labor not in vain you know what we're doing is not vain at all you know unless you know what I'm saying you start going off you go back into the world and you have a out there don't happen to to me or none of the brothers I've been fellowship with in the Great Millstone, you know, and these are good brothers, the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, hey, have made great men to this day. But you know, you have about Shimmy How Shai have be having other plans too, you know, to send to send uh say, you know what I'm saying? To deceive some brothers, you know. <clears throat> but that's just the Lord's will. We just gotta be thankful, you know. And, and, and thankful that he gave us mercy, you know. And that's all I wanted to get into, you know. And once again, I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Billstone who rule and teach well. A hey, peace and love to the hopeful let's get across the four corners of the earth. Again, I want to give uh, all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rikak Radash. Hey, Ababa Baal, Kwam Yasharala, Shalom.